Good morning to the chickens, yeah. Waters are good over here. Good morning, Jibbards. How you doing? We still got crane? Oh no. What's going on? Is this the this is the tumor girl, huh? Oh, she finally passed. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, she's got blood or something. It just poured out of her mouth. Golly, look how big that tumor is. I got so big. Poor girl. Oh, I gotta go throw her in the back. Whatever. Probably not interesting to anyone. That just my lunch. Got my usual wild parsley, wild onion seeds, and mustard seeds with my farmer's eggs and my sheep's cheese. Cheese starts right here. I will put too much ghee in here. And it cooked it too long. Doggone it. Look at that. And I had one piece of sourdough bread left. And it was stale. So I crumbled it on top. Made some croutons. I got some texture. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Good dog, too. Good boy. Good the brakes going down this hill. Good shoot. Easy on your knees. And you don't got your don't got your butt strap pushing into you. Hi. Good. Alrighty. Good dogs. Oh. Pardon us. I'm here right down in my corner with Lauren. Alright, uh, my, my my name's Aaron. Sit. My friends here let me graze on their property and that's their property too. Exactly. Alright on. Sit down. Hey! Good boy. Oh he's still got his balls, huh? All right, I know. I'm Aaron. What was yours? TJ. TJ, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Grazing my sheep on the TID. That's cool. That's cool, this guy right here on this property just heard me over here and took his little four-wheeler thing around to where he could get on this TID and came up here and just introduced himself, I guess. All right, just used my magnesium oxide, handful of that into my milk bottle, and then I put a cup of water on top of that and sucked up a 50 cc syringe, drenching syringe full, because I just woke up and I happened to hear, I hear that, I heard that gurgle too. That's actually what got me to realize, I was like, there's some gas going on, I hear some bloat. I woke up, and that's the second thing I heard, was the gurgle. I was able to hear that from 10, 20 foot away. Not 20 foot. Because it's so quiet out here in the country, it's nice. 
she's under gastro distress, so I'm going to give her some antacid. And this is very, 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 very early. Like, like this is like probably not going to amount to anything, but if you allow for the gas to build at all, then it tends to, the pressure closes off the entrances and the exits to that that uh, one stomach because these sheep have four stomachs. So if there's any entrance or extra exit that's blocked off from, from uh, their gas moving around, then it can... Uh, it can become an exponential problem. That sound right there, that... That sound. Okay, I just want everyone to know that sound. sound. So we're going to go ahead and preemptively give Missy here a drench. Oh, and she knows she's getting drenched. She just got up and started trying to run off. <laughs> good girl. Yeah. Well, good girl. Alright. Good girl. Yeah. Good slow. Slow, but not too slow. And obviously, they don't want to go too fast. And it helps to have their head down a little bit. A little bit about 90 degrees. Not too much, though. Thank you. Thank you. That'll help. That'll help your belly. Yeah. That'll help your belly, mama. I don't know, I have to worry about waking up. Waking up with that. You know, full blown bloat case. She's got her leg out to the side like that to relieve some pressure. She's also pregnant, so um, that's contributing to it, playing a factor. The baby's taking up a lot of space inside at the same time that the gas is trying to take up more space inside. So, a pregnant you is definitely a lot more susceptible to. Um, bloat than if they're not pregnant. I use magnesium oxide instead of baking soda because baking soda is a little bit too strong of an antacid and it actually it actually creates more gas when you put antacids into an acid stomach environment. It creates more gases for the short term and then and then that eventually balances out the pH and um, and slows down the production of gas that was already inside them. <clears throat> so magnesium oxide is not quite as strong of an antacid. Um, and the second thing that it has going for it is that it's an actual nutrient. And they don't need any more calcium. There's actually almost always a, a disproportionate amount of calcium in forage than there is magnesium. Magnesium is much harder to come by but they need both magnesium and calcium to be rather balanced in their system. So giving them magnesium oxide helps to balance that. And, uh, and baking soda actually helps to imbalance that and creates more of a bloating risk in the short term. All right, so. Where's my Durian Ching Syringe? There's my Durian Ching Syringe. Hmm, not bad. Neighbors gave me a couple of these huge cucumbers that had these really deep, long furrows in them. It's a weird looking cucumber. Didn't look like it would be very tasty. I thought it'd be a lot harder too. It tastes like a regular cucumber. This lady's walking by the property with a big dog off leash. Ma'am, we have sheep on this property. I don't know if you're aware. We have sheep on this property. I don't know if you're aware. No, I think that sheep are friendly. I know, I, I see you many times. I know about the 
Your, your dog might be friendly with other dogs, ma'am, but these are sheep. These are, these are prey. That's a predator. And so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't let your dog walk, if you wouldn't let your dog walk off leash in our yard when there's, when there's prey right there. Excuse me. Is that all right? All right, thank you. Thank you for, for being aware when you pass by here in the future. This is pretty funny. I just got this email. I'm starting to get some marketing offers. It's hilarious. This Grub Terra. This is sending me a box of their mealworms for video review. Send it, I guess send them to, it'd be for my friend's chickens. It's hilarious that I'm getting these. Now that I'm starting to get 30,000 subscribers, <laughs> that's nothing. That's hilarious. So I shot him back this email. Hi, Myra, thank you for your offer to scratch backs, and I absolutely love your guys' product, but my channel is about getting up perpetual purchases, so I think the only marketing I would be interested in are survival items that can potentially last you a lifetime. Has your company ever thought about selling black soldier flag growing kits? I would for sure support and promote that. If you guys could make a kit similar to those mushroom kits that they sell at the grocery store, except the kit upon being fed would perpetuate, uh, design the size of the system to fully feed and support the caloric needs of, say, a 6-bird set and a 12-bird and a 24-bird system. Any bigger would become ship prohibitive. Urban backyards are allowed to have four or six chickens, depending on town and city, and average number of chickens on small farms is a dozen about a dozen uh, but a full-blown homesteads usually have a couple dozen hope this helps let me know if you guys get that product together and want to work together good donkey do good donkey do good donkey do 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 got a new milk crate new milk crate above the wheel get him good girl any and he's happy. And look at that excitement. I miss that excitement. Good girl. Oh, good sheep. You silly sheep. Oh, you silly sheep. Donkey doesn't know what to think. She has never seen him. She didn't see my sheep be excited like that. Good sheep. Happy sheep. You silly girls. <laughs> That's a really good sign. <laughs> you silly sheep. You silly sheep. Are you silly? How are you guys silly? Let's go in the field. Good sheep. You want me to leave the ram? Let me let the ram go. Huh? You let the ram go. You silly girls. You silly girls. Silly sheep. They're running around the whole chicken coop. You guys running laps? I gotta let the chickens out. I milked this morning. Before I let the chickens out, usually I let the chickens out first. All right, you guys got food, got clean water in here. Happy chickens! Yeah. Looks like water out here. This one's dry. I will go. Clean and fill this. Good sheep, good donkeys. <laughs>